American journalist, editor, and program anchor Daniel Irvin Dan Rather Jr. was born on the 31st of October, 1931, in Wharton County, Texas, to Mother Vita and Father Daniel Irvin Rather. He is best known through his 24-year career as the anchor of the popular CBS Evening News. So, just how rich is Dan Rather? Celebrity.Money estimates that Rather has accumulated a net worth of over $75 million as of late 2017, with the main source of his wealth being his long and successful tenure as a news anchor, during a career which actually began in 1950. Rather grew up in Houston and attended Love Elementary School and Hamilton Middle School. After his matriculation from John H. Reagan High School in 1950, he enrolled in Sam Houston State University in Huntsville, Texas to study journalism. While at college, he became the editor of the campus paper, The Houstonian, while also taking a job at a small radio station. He then also interned as a reporter for Associated Press and United Press International. Upon graduating, Rather tried to enlist in the U.S. Marine Corps, but was disqualified because he had suffered from rheumatic fever during his childhood. In 1954, Rather started to work for the Houston Chronicle's radio station KTRH. He went on to become a television reporter for KTRK-TV, and then, in 1961, director of KHOU-TV, the CBS associate in Houston. His fearless reporting during Hurricane Carla brought him a national reputation and a promotion to a CBS network correspondent in 1962. He then became CBS national news correspondent for its Southwestern Bureau, and Rather's report of President John F. Kennedy's assassination gained the attention of the CBS managers, which resulted in his promotion to the White House correspondent for CBS in Washington in 1964. At the time, Rather was covering other major events too, such as the Civil Rights Movement, the Vietnam War, and the Watergate scandal, which made him one of the main figures in the national news media and greatly contributed to his net worth. In 1974, Rather became the chief correspondent for the documentary program CBS Reports, and the following year saw him leading the top news show 60 Minutes. Rather eventually gave up the prestigious position to embrace the opportunity of replacing Walter Cronkite as the anchor of CBS's Evening News in 1981. The program was one of the top three most successful news outlets, drawing around 7 million viewers, which success significantly raised Rather's profile and boosted his wealth. In the meantime, he also hosted 60 Minutes 2 and another CBS News program, 48 Hours. Rather left the position of CBS anchor in 2005. His 24-year-long career is believed to be the longest anchor tenure in U.S. media history. During his career at CBS, Rather was often the target of critics who accused him of disrespecting President Richard Nixon and later disparaging President George W. Bush's military career, as Rather became involved in a controversy by reporting on supposed documents related to Bush's service in the Texas Air National Guard. They suggested that Bush had received special treatment by having connections. Although this became a huge journalistic triumph, the authenticity of the documents was questioned. And after CBS investigated the case, they admitted the documents were false and several CBS employees were fired. This was believed to be the cause of Rather's retirement from CBS a few months later, and he eventually filed a $70 million lawsuit against CBS for making him a scapegoat in this controversy. But the case was dismissed in court. In 2006, Rather began hosting the show Dan Rather Reports on the AXS TV network and remained in the situation until he left the position in 2013 to produce and host the AXS series The Big Interview and documentaries in Dan Rather Presents. He still often appears on several news shows and writes for The Huffington Post and Mashable. In 2012, Rather released his autobiography, Rather Outspoken, My Life in the News. In 2015, he created his own company, News and Guts Media, producing The Big Interview, as well as several other shows. Rather's career has earned him an extraordinary amount of wealth within his profession, as well as many awards, such as a number of Emmy and Peabody Awards and several honorary degrees. When it comes to his personal life, Rather has been married to Jean Goebel since 1957. The couple have two children, and the family divides its time between New York and Texas. <laughs>